Hi, this is Professor Charlie Evans, and these are my notes on GIS and history. GIS is an acronym for Geographic Information Systems, and it's a relatively new, evolving discipline that marries together geography, map making, with data and digital tools to create a new way of analyzing data that is geographically referenced. In other words, you're looking at data that is somehow related to maps, which can be really useful um, in history because we use maps all the time and we can connect data and events and materials to those maps. And so GIS can help us with that task. And this is something that I'm trying to um, teach myself and learn about so that I could use it in some more ways in my history courses and that students can use it. And so I have an example here of uh, one of my early projects which is a GIS project which maps together um, which is a map of uh, Pennsylvania with uh, fracking wells and water contamination sites and trying to figure out how they uh, correlate together and so that's one of the things that a GIS allows you to do is look for correlations between data and geography. Now, one of the most uh, famous uh, GIS examples that most historians are aware of is the uh, Menard graph about uh, Napoleon's invasion of Russia and you see at the left uh, as the army gets to goes from left to right from Poland to Moscow the army decreased the size of the graphic decreases in size which signifies a decrease of the army over time and then the black line coming back as it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and that there's, this is uh, correlated with the temperature and other events this is like one of the first uh, historical GIS examples that we have. And so for this unit, since we're dealing with maps, um, the assignment for this unit is the rest and historical map assignment. And uh, it's actually a pretty straightforward assignment. And so what you, uh, students do is they are so compare a aerial 1970 version, vision, <laughs> oh God, a 1970 aerial photo of Reston with uh, a current aerial photo of Reston and the current one it's probably easiest to use Google Maps Google Earth and then you compare what has changed you can look and see physically what has changed in the Reston area in the last 40 plus years and it's actually quite surprising and so that's a pretty simple straightforward use of, of uh, a GIS is to analyze with aerial photos what has changed over time and since we have aerial photos dating back to the 1930s for a lot of the United States that can be a really productive assignment. And so, so generally in this unit of the course what we're trying to get you to under see is that there is uh, a really good connection emerging connection between uh, geographic analysis um, with the digital tools that can be used to interpret and understand historical change over a period of time or give better insight into a specific location in a historical period. That was a little awkwardly said, but I think you get the whole idea of this tying together of geography and history through digital tools. And that's the whole point about, of applying GIS to historical study. Okay.